It's spring on a new year and humanity is under lockdown. Because of COVID-19, I haven't been able to go out much, but the trips I have done, I have been able to film, and this is what happened. So I'm with my brother today. We only have about an hour to fish, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna chug around some baits and see if we can get anything to bite. I came here about three days ago on my kayak, and the water was very cold still. The water today is actually yeah, it's still pretty cold, but it's slightly warmer. Fishing from the bank today. It's been a while. Oh, he got one, no way. You are so lucky. <laughs> Why are you always catching fish and I'm always blanking? What's this now? This is your first time out fishing. I just found out how to fish. You have to go really slow with it. I'm talking like just bob it a couple times, wait a couple seconds. And like if nothing, just bob it again. And just I, that's what I was doing the whole time. Waiting a couple seconds, like five seconds, bobbing it five seconds bobbing it just a tiny bit until I felt I didn't even feel him that much it was like gentle like no bite or anything I just like kind of like at one point I just had the hook a little bit because I felt like a little resistance and sure enough yeah it was this fish right here it's my first catch of the year you know about to release this guy he's too small to keep uh, we were thinking about keeping them if they were big enough uh, but this guy's too small so we're about to release him. Brandon caught his first fish of the year before I did this year. And I really wanted to catch mine, so I visited a local pond in the hopes of catching a trout and I had a nice surprise. I haven't caught a fish since about October last year. It's a windy, chilly April evening and today that's gonna change. I'm after my first fish of the year today and I think it's gonna be a trout. I was trolling here the other day, just taking a walk, just looking in the water and I, I spotted some trout. So I thought I'd just come out here and give it a try. I haven't caught a trout in over a year so I'm really excited to give it a try today. Let's get fishing. Oh my gosh, I had a fish on. This whole time I had a fish on. I didn't even set the hook that good. Okay. Get the net ready. If I can land this, this will be my first fish of the year right here. Come here. Come here. There you go. It's in the net. Well, he's not a giant, but he's the first one of the year. Gorgeous little guy. Well, he's no giant, but I'm, the, I'm on the board for this year. Little one, <laughs> but the first one's always special. Okay, little one, I'll see you when you're a bit bigger. I started using a small spinner for trout. But after catching that bass, I was just itching to catch another one. So I opted to use a wacky rigged Zenko instead. Oh, just got a bite. Something just took it. Yep, he took it. Oh my gosh, that's a good fish. That's a good fish. Whew. Okay, get the net ready. It's not a giant, but it's better. Come on, buddy. Get 
through the net. Yes! Ooh, got him. Such a light bite, but it's a little bit better. Yes, that is a result. There is another fish, second one of the day. A little bit larger, that's sort of the way we want to go with. But still a little bit small, so we're just gonna keep casting and see if we can get on any bigger fish. But it's a good start. There he goes. <laughs> Sick. I use a Gamagatsu size 8 hook when wacky rigging a Senko, but any small hook will do just fine. Using an O-ring is essential to avoid losing your Senko too often. Simply take a wacky rig tool, insert your worm and slide an O-ring onto the plastic. Then hook the plastic worm so that it goes through the o-ring, tie your hook to your main line, and you are ready to fish. It's one of the easiest ways to catch a bass. It just catches fish. Is that another bite? Oh no way, was that a bite? That was a bite, oh my gosh. <laughs> it was so subtle. I didn't, I never set the hook on him because I thought it was... <laughs> okay. Come on. Come on, you. <sighs> okay, we got him. That bite was so subtle. I barely, barely felt it. I was like, is that a bite? Is that a bite? Because I really didn't know. Here it is, fish number two. This looks so similar to the other one. It might actually be the same fish. It's just about the same size. It was just about in the same area. So maybe, maybe it was the same one, but regardless, third fish of the day. And they're consistently this size. Hopefully we can get one a little bit bigger in the next few minutes, but we'll see. See you later, pal. With the pandemic going on, if you're going to be outside either fishing or exercising, I urge you to take the necessary precautions, stay away from others, and wear a mask if you know that there will be others around you. Thank you so much for watching. I'm not sure how much I'll be able to upload with this new virus going around, but I'll try my best. In the meantime, you can enjoy some more videos here. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already, and let me know what you thought about this video down in the comments and what you want to see more of in the future. Stay safe. I'll see you next time.